Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Living Wellness Mills Chiropractic Style. Um, today we're going to talk to you about some core stabilization exercises, some extension exercises. Um, the reason we're providing these for you is um, I want you to be able to go to the website or go to our YouTube channel and actually watch us do these things so that you can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some exercises Dr. Bircher is going to narrate for you so that you can understand what we're doing. But you know, from long-term chronic subluxations, it can create weakness. And if we have abdominal and core weakness, it can actually cause more stress on our spine. So um, for a lot of you, you're getting adjusted and we're, we're doing that and we're correcting the subluxation and improving your nerve function. But in order for you to stabilize your spine and stay stronger, you need to be strong in your core and strong with your back extension exercises. So we're gonna show you a back extension stretch first, then we're gonna go into some stabilization exercises that we know will help you. So first thing we do is a back extension. And Dr. Bertzer is going to narrate here for you so you can understand what we're doing. So for this back extension, you're going to lie on your stomach on the floor. And you rest on your elbows uh, initially. And you just want to breathe. You want to look straight ahead and you breathe. Your lower spine is going to start to extend. And the repetitious breathing will allow that um, to gradually um, create more flexibility in there. If you have the flexibility to do that, you can get up further onto your hands and push away. Now, for older people or if you have arthritis in the spine, that may be difficult, so you just do what you can. For a younger person, uh, you may be able to do this and get more motion in the spine. The next thing we'll show you is what is called a plank exercise. Uh, most people get next to no activity uh, in their stomach muscles um, every day. and so this is going to, to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to make a line out of your, your neck, your shoulder, your hips, and your ankles. You want that to be in a straight line, so they call that a plank, similar to a yoga or Pilates, and you get up on your um, elbows. Now what you don't want to do is what he's doing there, which is let your hips sag down. Many people will have start to do that as they fatigue. You also don't want to stick your rear end up in the air. Um, you just want to kind of tuck your tail, keep your stomach tight, and hold that. Try and hold that for up to 30 seconds. Um, you can go more if you can. Most people can't even start, can't even get 30 seconds when they start. Then we can move to a side plank position. This one on their okay. Knees. For, for anybody who has a lot of difficulty doing um, that plank position, you can start by resting on your knees as opposed to your feet. You'll, it'll be easier and it'll give you a progression to work to and still get some, some strengthening there. This is what is called a side plank, so you're going to keep your spine in line with your pelvis, basically down to your feet or ankles. Um, your forearm will rest directly below your shoulder. And again, you want to try and hold this 20 to 30 seconds there. Um, you can do both sides of that so you get equal stabilization of the spine. You can either rest your arm on the side of your hip like he was doing, or you can cross it in front of your chest. Yeah, either way, like that. This next exercise is often called a bird dog, and uh, you're going to start on hands and knees. You're going to extend one arm and the opposite leg, and then switch. Okay, and you basically want to keep the tailbone flat or level when you do this, so that you're not twisting and rotating through your spine. And generally, you want to do 10 to 10 to 15 of those in a row. So, you know, for, for the plank, for the stretching exercise, you, know, you can start with laying like that for 30 seconds or go to a minute or so. Um, the plank exercise, the side plank, same thing, you know, start a minimum of, try to work up to 30 seconds. Wherever you can start, listen, if you have to start with five seconds, start with five seconds. You know, if you can say, hey, I can do 30 seconds, then great, go, go to 45 seconds and do repetitions of them then, you know, do it two or three times. You're not going to hurt yourself by doing a lot of core stabilization exercises. You can do these things every day. These are, you don't even have to have rest days in between. But, you know, in our culture where we're sitting a lot, um, sitting at desks, sitting at computers, sitting in our car, driving, watching TV, you know, we just get weak. We get into this flexed forward posture and we need to start to strengthen these areas, start to stabilize our spine, keep ourselves healthy. It improves balance. Um, so when it was a getting older, we fall less. But I believe these will be very helpful for you. If you have any severe acute pain when you're doing these, just stop them. When you come in for your next adjustment or give us a call at the office and say, hey, I'm having some problem with these exercises. If you need more instruction, we'll give you more instruction when you come in for your next adjustment. 
So we believe these will be helpful to you. Um, we know you're trying to create a healthier and better you, and I think this will help you get there. So make sure you stay fit, eat your fruits and vegetables, and always get adjusted. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.